Welcome to Back Horse. We're talking FF7. We're talking Rebirth. And we have a pretty interesting update. I guess technically we're also d discussing Ever Crisis. Because Square Enix does these like random like live streams called like Save Point. And they just kind of, I think, recap information that's out there, uh, upcoming things or whatever. It's usually nothing groundbreaking, but during like a recent one that just happened like a few days ago, they seem to confirm who the bearded guy was in the Rebirth trailer, which is obviously a pretty hot topic right now. Uh, the common consensus is that it is Glenn, Glenn Lodbrock from the First Soldier story, the main character. And this seems to confirm it. I did initially see this on Reddit, but luckily the Reddit post linked to the original source, which the original source was Stygian Sis on Twitter, one of my mutuals, a fellow content creator here on the platform. I'm just going to go ahead and play the clip really quickly from the Twitch VOD. The volume is pretty low, and I, I'll try to turn up as loud as I can, but it's just, it's quite silent. I don't know why. Sephiroth will be a playable character in the next update. So Chapter 5 of the first Soldier story will release uh, with special dialogue between young Sephiroth and Glenn Matt Lucia. Ooh. Mm. Which I saw you guys speculating who who's that hooded figure in rebirth so if you want a little bit of backstory highly recommend downloading final fantasy 7 ever crisis it's all connected somehow yes. you know what i mean <laughs> and yeah we're talking about the new chapter that's about to drop for first soldier she says that there's going to be special dialogue between young sephiroth and glenn matt and lucia i guess is how you say her name i've always said lucia I guess it's Lucia. Now, it seemed to imply that the bearded guy is Glenn. That's just a popular theory right now. I guess it doesn't necessarily 100% confirm it because the dialogue could be about a different character and that different character could be the robed bearded guy in the Rebirth trailer. But this would still, like, 99.9% .9 confirm that it's Glenn. This also has, like, some massive implications, right? Because this means that, for one, Glenn survives the a fight that we know that they're going to have between Sephiroth and Glenn at some point with the First Soldier. It's also let us know that First Soldier is going to play kind of a big part when it comes to the remake trilogy story. If we're seeing a character from the First Soldier story making his way into, like, the second game in the trilogy, that means there's, like, it's not just, like, this obscure mobile game with like, a little bit of backstory for, like, the Soldier program in Sephiroth. Like, it's going to actually have ramifications in the whole fucking trilogy. Not even go beyond characters, because we could see some of the First Soldier stuff from Ever Crisis in Rebirth, like the island that we go to with our group, right? I think it's called, called Rador. It's a Radoran people, Radorian people, something like that. I don't remember. But we might actually go there, maybe get to see that little kid if he survives the story. You know, he might. We're getting a new chapter in like a day or so, so maybe he, the kid fucking dies. But if the kid and his dog survive, maybe we can go there and visit them and shit. It'd be kind of cool, man. Does you think the new update might be coming out like tonight, potentially for us? I think it's coming out 11 o'clock JST, which is like in a few hours, I believe. Because they do like the 24 hour clock, if I'm not mistaken, right? So when it's like 1 o'clock, it's like 13 over there. So I think that's happening in like a, just a couple hours from now that we'll be getting this new chapter. It's kind of interesting that she's allowed to talk about that. I know this is like a few days ago at this point, but and I'd assume she has the go ahead to say that, otherwise she'd get in trouble. But it is kind of a big spoiler, right? Because it's a big mystery right now. Even with like the TGS live stream, whenever Tetsu No More is talking over like the recent trailer we got, he you know puts emphasis on the bearded guy the, with the robe and shit like that. And like if she can just go do this like save point thing on Twitch and just be like, "Yo, it's Glenn," <laughs> like it's kind of crazy, man. I can't imagine the dialogue we're gonna get tonight would be like, "I'm gonna see you in a few years." in Junon or something like that. It's going to like outright confirm that it's the bearded guy that we're seeing in the trailer, right? Expected to be a little bit vague and kind of setting like the groundwork for what we're going to see at a later point for why Glenn and Sephiroth are fighting. They could simply be fighting because Sephiroth obviously slaughters a lot of people in the first soldier story as we've seen from the trailers and shit, right? So that could all, that could only be what it is, but I'm assuming they're going to lay the groundwork for that shit. I'll say that I still have a bit of an issue with it being Glenn in the Rebirth trailer, as we talked about with the trailer breakdown video I did, because the facial hair style is quite different, which obviously if he can grow a little bit of facial hair, he could potentially grow a full beard. But the color of hair is very different too, and we've seen Glenn at a later point when he's about to fight Sephiroth, where he's wearing a robe as well, but the robe styles are very, very different. And he still has the same just kind of like neck beard sort of situation going on, right? So, so it doesn't make sense why we'd see him at a later point about to fight Sephiroth, robed up, same facial hair, and then a later point he's in a completely different robe and he's got a full beard. Like it just, some doesn't add up there for me, but I could be completely wrong. This video, my dudes, there's not much more to say about this. Uh, the new chapter we're about to get for Pro Soldier is going to apparently give us backstory on the bearded guy from the Rebirth trailer. Glenn does make the most sense, and he seems to maybe be anti Shinra with, like, potentially with, like, him trying to fight Sephiroth. So it makes sense that maybe he's hiding and overlooking Rufus Shinra, you know, with the Rebirth trailer. So I, can, I think it adds up a little bit, uh, but it remains to be seen. Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe to me if you guys are new. Subscribe to me in the description below. Follow me to Dash David White. That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Rogaine, or leave it. Like Cobain.